So I get it. It's a huge struggle when you're working hours on end on your blog and no one's reading it. Especially when you put so much heart and so many hours and energy into one blog post or into several blog posts and realize that no one is reading it. It doesn't mean anything about you. It doesn't mean that you suck as a blogger. It just means there are a few things to look at when it comes to your blog. Maybe it's your strategy, maybe it's your website, maybe you're not promoting it. And that's what we're gonna figure out today. So if you're wondering why no one is reading your blog, here are six harsh truths, harsh truths why no one is reading it. I'll also share some quick fixes that are really easy to do and will help drive traffic to your blog. Hi everyone, I'm Jojo and I help women live their most authentic lives through blogging. I teach them that blogging is a great outlet to live your best life and share it with the whole world and have it help other people too. So if that's your thing, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video. So, all right, let's get started with the video. So the first reason why no one is reading your blog is because all you write about is yourself and you do it with no intention to help your audience. So in order to drive traffic to your blog, you need to find an audience. And to find an audience for your blog, you'll have to first figure out who your audience is and create content on what that audience needs. So if you're creating content about yourself like I lost my luggage in my flight or my Hong Kong travel diary. Turn that story around and write it like how to avoid losing your luggage during travel or four day Hong Kong travel itinerary for foodies. So you see how much more interesting that is. These titles are also much more likely to be found through Google search because they have the most important keywords that people search for when looking for this type of topic. No one's really searching on Google for a diary post of someone traveling. And they're also not just typing like, I lost my luggage on Google. What they're most likely typing is, how do I get my luggage back? Or how do I avoid losing my luggage during travel? And then later on, after you've already built a good sized audience and a good relationship with them, you can go ahead and start sharing more stories and more personal things about yourself because now they like you and they want to know more about you. I actually highly recommend creating some personal posts. It's really great for your followers. Not all of your followers will be interested in it, but the ones who really absolutely adore your content will really love it. That's something I do for my blog. I know not everyone really watches my personal content, but for the ones that do, they really love it and they feel they get to know me a lot more and understand why I do the things I do. So the next harsh truth why no one is reading your blog is that your blog is all over the place. And by that I mean your blog lacks focus, it lacks a niche. Sometimes when you're writing about content for your audience, it's not enough to just write about anything and just assume that your audience is going to like it. So instead of writing a variety of topics like three easy vegetarian meals or the top 10 popular dog breeds or how to fix a warm refrigerator, you see how all of those topics are really different? Focus on one topic instead. For example, three easy vegetarian meals, the best vegetarian desserts, vegetarian curries you'll love, and easy vegetarian meal prep. That body of work is so much more cohesive and is that more likely to establish your expertise, enough for your audience to know that you know what you're talking about. And that helps your audience stay longer on your blog because as you refer them to related posts, they're going to want to click on them because they were searching for that kind of content in the first place. So start with one topic that you like for your blog and stick with it, even if you don't know that much about it. You don't need to be an expert on that topic, you just need to love talking about it because your blog is really about sharing your journey and sharing it in a way that helps others learn from your mistakes and learn from your journey and learn to do the same things that you're doing. So if you need help on focusing on one topic, go ahead and check out this post that's popping up right above me. And it's a really great in-depth guide on how to choose a niche. So if you need a nudge in the right direction on which niche to choose, go ahead and click on that post. So the next reason why no one is reading your blog is really a harsh truth that's applicable to a lot of people, including me. And that is you don't post enough and you don't do it consistently. So blogging is about building relationships with your audience. So if you're posting for three straight weeks and you're like, peace out for the next two months, like it, it doesn't give your audience an opportunity to build a relationship with you and get to know you and trust you. And every time you post, it gives your readers more reason to visit your blog because they wanna be updated on the latest tips. So you're driving traffic from people who already visited your blog and decided to follow you. And then from a technical perspective, Google loves blogs that publish 
fresh and new content. So if your blog is stagnant with no new posts, your ranking on Google is also going to be stagnant. Plus, as you post consistently, you'll create better and higher quality content each time. So for example, if you were to post once a week and you did it for two months straight, the quality of your content two months later is going to be so much better, like unrecognizably different than your first post. And not only that, like when you post consistently, you also get a better idea of the content that your audience likes because you'll have that experience of publishing content that your audience didn't like, content that your audience kind of sort of liked, and content that your audience like really absolutely loved. And you're not going to find these out until you start posting consistently. That way you can create similar content to the ones that you know your audience likes. So create a posting schedule. I recommend posting at least once a week. It's enough to tell Google, hey, I've got some fresh new content over here. <laughs> it keeps you in front of your audience like, hi, I've got some new tips for you. And it keeps you in the practice of creating better and even better content. And the next harsh truth is that your website is hard to read. Even when you put all that work into creating and strategizing your content, sometimes it's really just your website. And it may be the very reason why no one is reading your blog because no one can actually read it. And by that I mean your website is hard to read and overall doesn't provide a good reading experience. My rule is to keep your blog simple and classic with a black text on a white background or a really dark text on a really light background. It's clean, it's elegant, and you really can't go wrong with it because it's easy to read. So you don't want anything like blue text on a red background. It's a little harsh and it's not easy on the eyes. The next harsh truth why no one is reading your blog is that your blog just doesn't look good. So another thing to consider is the first thing that your readers will see the first time they visit your blog and that's your branding. It's your logo, it's your photo on the sidebar with a little fun bio blurb about you, and it's your Pinterest graphic on your blog post that has your name and your logo colors on it. Branding plays a huge part in people consuming your content. So if you feel like that's something you're lacking, put some more energy into that. You want to really wow your readers with your visuals. Let them know you've worked hard to build a beautiful website because when they see that, they'll think, wow, it's so professional and it's so clean. I can tell the blogger put a lot of effort into building this website and it probably means they put a lot of effort in this blog post that I'm about to read. So if you're using a free blog, switch your blog over to a self-hosted WordPress blog because that's how you'll be able to customize your blog that you just can't do with a free blog. And then from there, you can choose a WordPress theme, purchase it, install it, and customize it with your logo and your brand colors. And then boom, you have a professional website that's not only worth reading, but also worth making money from. I created my self-hosted WordPress website through Bluehost and it was $3.95 a month. And then I purchased the Cheer Up theme from Theme Forest. The links will be down below. And it was really easy to get myself set up. And if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that, I've got a great video right over here that you can watch. I teach you how to start a WordPress blog and create one in under 15 minutes. And my last harsh truth why no one is reading your blog is that you don't promote your blog post. So some people think publishing a blog post is like one and done situation. Like you just post it, it's out there, it's on Google, and you're done. That's not true. It's <laughs> it's uh, That's only half the work. The, the other half is promoting your content. So make sure to promote your blog post through social media. I recommend starting off with two social media platforms. But priority should be on Pinterest because this is how you're going to be driving new readers and new traffic to your blog sustainably and consistently. It's going to take a few months for that growth to show. And then you want to share your content on Instagram or Facebook, one or the two, whichever you think your audience is on the most. So you want to post your content there as soon as you publish your blog post because that will drive traffic immediately to your blog post right after you post it. Tell your audience how excited you are about this new blog post that you just posted. Tell them how the tips you share and it helped you achieve X benefits like losing weight, saving money, traveling solo, and let them know how those tips can help them. That way your followers keep coming back every time you post and you're also growing your following by driving new readers into your blog through Pinterest. So start with two social media platforms. I don't recommend spreading yourself thin across all the other platforms. It's not gonna do you well. Just stick with two and give your 100% on both as opposed to like doing 10 social media platforms and doing 10% on each. So that's that's it! Here's a recap on reasons why no one is reading your blog. Number one, all you write about is yourself. 
Number two, your blog is all over the place. Number three, you don't post enough and you don't do it consistently. Number four, your website is hard to read. Number five, your website just doesn't look good. And number six, you don't promote your blog posts. And if you find most of these reasons relevant to your situation, you're not a bad blogger, you're not a failure, you're not doing it wrong, this is all just feedback. And it's feedback you can use to improve your blog. So don't worry, it's not you, you don't suck, you're not a bad blogger. In fact, I feel like because you're here watching this video, you are so much further past than a lot of other bloggers right now because you want to improve yourself. And that alone brings you so much more further because it means you found something you love, you wanna get better at it, and you wanna share it with the world. So huge props to you, and I hope your blog grows after this video. And if it doesn't, that's what the comment section below is for. So let me know what you're struggling with and I'll go ahead and reply. I'll do my best to help you. So if you're wondering whether your blog has a strong foundation or you want a system to follow with starting your blog launching it and creating content and then promoting it, you can go ahead and download my bold blogger launch checklist. Everything is there for you. It's very easy to read and look through. I explain all the tiny details over there. I have step-by-step -step checklists for you to build your brand, start your website, create your content, create a system to create them and promote them. The link is down below for you to download. You can also go to travelingpetitgirl.com slash bblc. So that's it for today. I really appreciate you being here. I know I feel like a little bit more mellowed out today as opposed to my other videos where I'm more like, hi, I'm Jojo. Today I'm just like, hey, I'm Jojo. <laughs> I just got kittens and it's not tiring. I think I just have a lot of my mind on how to take care of them and it makes me a little bit anxious that it's making me not sleep as much, but, it may, but I'm so happy to have them and they're feral. So it's gonna take um, a little bit. It's gonna take some patience to get to know them and get close to them without them hissing at me or <laughs> scratching me. Um, but they're, they're really cute animals. If you want to see more about that, you can check out my Instagram at Traveling Petite Girl. Yeah, thank you for listening to that little blurb of my personal life. I'm Jojo and I help women live their best lives through blogging. Please like this video if you learned something and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another one. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!